Loop Cloud Drums is one of the easiest to use instant result VST drum modules for building patterns for your tracks. Whether it's EDM, trap, house, hip hop, techno, jungle, drum and bass, you name it, any kind of electronic drum kit, this plugin is great for building the core, the foundation of your rhythmic section quickly. And it just updated to version 1.5, so in this video I'm gonna show you what's new and a couple of tricks. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, discounts, and of course, the download link to drums and all the other free plugins included in Loop Cloud. If you want to support the channel, but most important, access to the ever-growing library of mixing and mastering courses and videos here on the channel. Exclusive members only content. Click the join button down here. See all the perks of becoming a Mixfest TV member, which includes mix consultations with me via Skype or email. Let's get to the video. All right, I hope you guys will find this video interesting for those who already knew loop cloud drum i'm gonna show you what's new i have a couple of videos on loop cloud already if you're not familiar with it check them out because this plugin is linked to it loop cloud is where i get all my sample for any genre it has a gigantic library always updating and it's the best sample manager that you can find. Drums is a sequencer, drum module, and sampler. It's actually my favorite just because it's so easy and simple to use. And Pro Tools lacks this kind of plugin natively. I'm using this one in Pro Tools via Blue Cat Patchwork. It has the MPC style pads layout that you can control with any controller. And it has the usual features that you want in a module like that. So a volume pan, sample start, tuning envelope filters, also, this one has a mixer with a bunch of effects, delay, reverb, crush, drive, filter, limiter, and of course you have pan and volume and sand for reverb and delay for each pad, for each sample. More controls here at the bottom. For example, you can assign any letter to any bar. Right now we have A, 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 B. If I want to put, a, let's say G here, that's that simple. If you want to copy pattern A, you just copy and then select which letter you want to paste it. Let's say H or F, okay? It's that simple, or you can clear. But definitely the most exciting new feature is the randomizer, the sample randomizer. By clicking the dice button here, you can randomize either all your samples in your kit or just one. And the plugin will select the samples either from your hard drive, so the ones that you already own, or if you click refine search here, you can see, you can tell the plugin, look in the cloud and local content or just local content. So if you want to browse all the samples that are on Loop Cloud, you can audition all of them in real time in your project. Here's the main page of Loop Cloud. Here you have all the latest packs uploaded. You have your library and you can select genre, instrument and all that. And the same here in drum. So for example, this is my kit right now. Okay, it sounds good already because it's, uh, it's one of the presets that uh, drum comes with, but let's say I wanna randomize uh, the kick drum. I'm just gonna click there. All right, and you can see here, you can select the instrument. So this is a kick, in this case, I'm gonna leave it as a kick but the genre, you want tech house or you want to change. And you can select a kick based on the genre. So reggae, uh, jazz, uh, EDM, house, anything you want. And the same goes for all the other samples. So we change the kick. Let's try the snare. Okay, you get the idea. It's super easy to change sounds, have a different perspective. Here at the bottom on the right, you also have a couple more tools to spark your creativity and change things a little bit. So for example, the nudge. Okay, with just nudging one element, one of the samples uh, with the same pattern, you kind of change the groove immediately. And also taking a step further, you can randomize any of the sample just by clicking this uh, two arrows bottom here. And you, it comes with a bunch of cool presets.
Okay, super easy to change. And of course, if you wanna create your kit and your pattern from scratch, you have some starter kits. A starter kit, basic kit, empty preset, just snares, kick and snares, percussion kit, and just kick. For example, percussion kit, if I load this one, you have all percussions here. Here at the bottom, you see, I just used right now, you have the rolls. If you make a trap and hip hop, if you want those high ads rolls, it's a quick and easy way to do it. But let's go back to, let's say the basic kit. And let's start to build something here. Let's add a percussion here. Let's try to add a bass here, for example. And for example, if you keep randomizing by you like the previous samples, you can actually go back So it's great because when you use randomizer, usually there's not a history. In this case, there is. So you can keep randomizing and going back and forth without losing track. Just for fun, let's try to add an instrument here. Let's try a guitar. Let me randomize this bass line in the A pattern. So we have a basic pattern and just showing you how uh, this works, but let's say I just want to change everything. I have my pattern and I'm going to select all pads and see what happens. Just randomize them all. You saw that? I can revert to all my previous samples with the arrow back. That is pretty inspiring, uh, keeping the same pattern, just changing all the sounds. Let's give it another spin. It's totally cool. And if you don't want to do it for the instrument, maybe you have a melody part, maybe you have a bass line, you don't want to change that. You can just select each individual sample and randomize that. Another cool thing they added in this version is when you save, let's say you're happy with your kit. When you save your kit, you can actually edit the theme and you can select one picture just to make it a little more personal. Let's go with this one and you can change the accent color. Let's go with, I don't know, red for this and you can name it. And so it is a little more personal is your kit. It has your graphic, your accent. The accent color is the color the selected pattern turned into and also all the knobs. And remember, because you can control it with your pad, let's say you want just a collection of kicks, if you select the preset Just Kicks, you have a bunch of kicks here, all right? And again, you can build a pattern with one of them.
I'm gonna add a snare here. Let's add a hat. And again, select all pads, randomize, and have fun. All right, this is it for this video. This was Loop Cloud Drums version 1.5, new update. I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and share. If you have somehow missed the biggest event going on in the channel right now, Bella Kelly Throat Remix Remake Contest, check out the announcement video and get in because among the over $25,000 in prices, there's also one year of pro subscription to Loop Cloud, so any sound you can possibly want for a year. All the links in the info box down below. Follow Mixbus TV on Instagram and Facebook. All the updates are also gonna be there about the contest, but not only members only content, new videos, new series, new production, Bella's new video coming up, and much more. Click the join button, become a member, step up your mix and mastering game. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up. up.